The second patch for KSP2 is now available. Unfortunately, it doesn't do much in the way of fixing performance issues. The good news, however, is that there are a multitude of fixes in the update. So in this video, we're going to take a look at a bit of that. So firstly, right here, let's take a look at some of the footage of the still outstanding performance problems. Now, immediately, you can see the frame rate issues. This was a complex craft and it had no business being on the pad here because as soon as it was put here, it literally fell apart. But this was me testing things out just to see what would happen. And you can see that, well, frame rates are not exactly ideal. So let's try it with another ship, something that's a little bit more suited to a launching from that launch pad. So these vessels are all taken from the website KSP Build. It's a very quick way to get some complex craft into the game. Highly recommend the website. Very, very good stuff. Again, as always, you can find a link below. So immediately you can see as soon as we're on the launch pad, not actually doing anything, we're still only getting at 21 frames a second. Now, when we try and launch, that drops down even lower. And unfortunately, for whatever reason, this craft completely falls apart. Now, I do know that this craft does usually work. I've used it in the past before patch two and had no problems whatsoever. So there's some apparent structural issues here, but not sure why this is a problem now when it wasn't previously. The obvious next step then was to try a much simpler craft and you can see this time things do seem to work. Although again, we're still getting at those low frame rates. Just as a reminder, this is running on an RTX 4090 with the Ryzen 7 5800X. Now, I don't want to labor on all of this too long, but I do want to check out Stage In. Stage In does work, although you can see there was a slight pause when we uh, activated that. And finally, we're high enough to uh, execute our burn to get ourselves into orbit. And you can see that's all going rather smoothly. Although again, there still is that issue with the frame rates. Okay, so we spent more than enough time on that section. I don't want to talk about performance any longer. Uh, I think you get the issue. I just wanted you to be fully aware of what to expect going into this. One other thing I do briefly want to touch on though is after getting that ship into orbit, I exited the game and then reloaded the save file. And you can see immediately upon the save file loading, the rocket just blew apart. Absolutely no rhyme or reason for this, but it seemed to be a pretty consistent every time I loaded in. Um, hopefully they do get fixed sooner rather than later, but for now let's focus on some of the things that the patch does uh, address. So if we go here we can see the patch notes. I'm not going to go through all of these, they are rather extensive, but I will link these in the video description below. Obviously you can see there are absolutely tons of fixes here. So uh, my feeling is, my opinion is that Intercept Games are making good progress with these updates, we're seeing the patch frequency uh, happening pretty often here. There's a nice cadence of uh, updates. So this is exactly what we want to see. And I honestly do think that Intercept Games will get there in at the end when given enough time. So yeah, if you want to have a look at the full patch notes, I will be sure to link them in the video description. As we can see at the top here, it says that this rocket indicates the issue or change that community members directly helped by sharing it with our dev team. So we've got quite a few there. Right at the top in construction, stage groups now remain in their proper order when switching between multiple assemblies in the VAB. And this is, a, oh, I'm glad to see this fixed actually, because uh, this was something that kept causing problems. Every time you change something on the ship, the staging had the potential to shift around. And then this one actually caught me out quite a few times. I'd actually launched the ship before figuring that had actually changed. And yes, I know, check here, stagians. Um, parts manager can now be opened for sub-assemblies in the VAB, added proper handling of nested symmetry sets. So another fix here for staging, that is good to see, and fixed vehicle in floor VAB bug. But I have actually seen this myself, um, although maybe it's more of the way I was using uh, KSP, if I, copy and pasted a build directly into there from uh, the KSP build website. I mentioned that previously. Uh, some of them would sometimes spawn straight into the floor. So that was more or less a case of me uh, trying to or misplace the ship. I had to place that in the correct area. Not sure if that's down to uh, user error or if the game simply shouldn't allow it to be spawned into the ground in the first place. 
Now elsewhere, if we go further down, there's a whole bunch of environmental fixes, including these rather nice ones, a height uh, fog added to Kerbin, Duna, Eve and Lathe. Haven't had a chance to look at this myself just yet. It's something I do want to check out, though, uh, as soon as I possibly can. Uh, some improved celestial body uh, ground scatter updates on Minmus, Eve, Elu, uh, Ike, Duna, Mun, Tylo and Bob. So again, they're going with some nice graphical improvements here. Glad to see that is going on. Some terrain accuracy fixes. Um, there was a nice fix as well. We'll show that on screen or a nice addition, actually, improvement of added new building illumination to the Kerbal Space Center that activates and deactivates based on the time of day. And finally, another staging fix. There's a lot of staging issues here. Uh, these ones really have been, for me, the most game-breaking problems. These have caused uh, the most significant problems for me, aside from the performance issues. So fixed spacebar sometimes are not triggering a staging. That one happened quite a lot for me. So yes, it seems that patch 2 is a good update. You may want to jump in and check it out, but do keep in mind that the performance issues are still very much there. So uh, be aware of that. Do let me know what your favourite aspect of this update is. Hoping to hear very soon about update 3. Yes, update 2's only just arrived and I want to hear about the next update already. But, you know, that is my passion for KSP2. I really want to see it do well. At any rate, let me know in the comments section what is your favourite part of Patch 2. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys and girls next time.